In this short video, we'll identify ways to tell if an article is a scholarly journal article. You may have heard of the term scholarly, but what does it mean? In this context, scholarly journal articles enable scholars, experts in a particular academic field, to communicate their research by publishing articles. As a result, scholarly journals create kind of a conversation in that academic field. This is a formal conversation which takes place over months and years through written documents. Scholarly articles are sometimes referred to as peer-reviewed articles. Peer review is a formal quality control process where an article is submitted to a journal to be reviewed by peers who are experts in the academic field. These referees judge whether the article makes a sufficient contribution to knowledge in the discipline area and is of sufficient quality to justify publication. This adds more weight to the credibility and reliability of the article, knowing it has been through this process. Often your lecturers will be looking for peer-reviewed articles and the library discover search allows you to limit your search to peer-reviewed journals, something you cannot do on Google. Let's take a closer look at the scholarly features of an article. At the top of the article is the title. Next, the author or the authors of the article will be clearly listed. In addition, their university or research affiliations will be listed, giving credibility to the authors. In this example, the authors and affiliations are on the first page, but sometimes affiliations can be on the last page. The abstract, which is the short summary of the article available at the beginning, very useful to determine if you want to read the full text of the article. The introduction with a thesis and a background of the study, Next is the body of the article. This may contain headings such as literature review, methods, findings, discussion, analysis, results, or implications. Basically, it's where the authors share the context of the research, the methods of study, how data was collected, who were the participants, how data was analyzed, and of course, the results. The discussion or finding section will share the implications from the research and, uh, and address what needs to be explored further. It will also often highlight the limitations of the research. You'll notice throughout the article, there are in-text citations. So these are found throughout and they point to the works the authors acknowledge as contributing to their study. In-text citations are an important feature of a scholarly article. It demonstrates the authors are using previous research to support and build upon the knowledge. Graphs or statistics or tables or figures will most likely be present throughout the article. Don't worry, you're not expected to understand complex statistics. However, this information is here to help explain the data from the research. You'll also notice specialised vocabulary used throughout. This can be daunting at first, but as you develop your knowledge in the subject field, you'll come to understand the vocabulary associated with that discipline area. Finally, at the end, there'll be a conclusion where the authors make a final statement and recommendations from the study. This will be followed by the reference list. A scholarly journal article will always have a list of references from the in-text citations available at the end of the article. This can be useful to see what other research you could explore related to the topic. It's not always obvious if an article is scholarly or peer-reviewed. If in doubt, ask a USC librarian.